Hello, and welcome to the daily Dragon's Rhyme and Dogma online news. Hey. So Rawr. they just revealed this today. Dragon's Dogma online trademark. Desu, 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 desu. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks kind of something like this. Oh. So you can see, there's people. Like, mm -hmm. it is verified. You can go around a fountain and do stuffs. Oh, hello. And no, there's, like, like peoples. Another fountain, oh, like, is the that same the... fountain. Okay. I wish I remembered the name of the places in Dragon's Dogma. I Grand Soren. Is that Grand Soren? I can't tell. It's kind of blurry. I hope Pitch the final you. game is not this blurry, to be honest. That must be a magic knight. <laughs> and, Level uh... 60 arisen. Hmm. I I personally want to be a reason third to be honest. I guess this is text chat in the game. Oh, um, so it's an MMO? Yeah, maybe we should get the two big things out of the way first before we go on with this. Okay, so I guess I'll actually explain some of the details about this game. So Dragon's Togma Online is a title announced for PS3, PS4 and PC. And it's going to be free to play. Oh! Oh. And the basic setup is that you have a huge lobby, which is, I mean, I assume this is the lobby, where you can have up to 100 people just like, I mean, 100 players just walking around going, hi, 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 hi. And then you go out into the real open world and do quests or whatever. I, I actually don't, I'm not quite sure what you do in the real big world place and you can have maximum four players in the world but in in this lobby there can be up to 100 players well that's something yeah i have even this is the final pictures i have of the game so you can have like <gasps> pew, 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 big dragon. Oh, this makes me miss dragon's dogma combat so much yeah <laughs> i just want to climb on that dragon and poke it so i am really happy to see that like core gameplay wise it like, this very much looks like Dragon's Dogma. And that is good. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the whole uh, weird free-to-play setup. I mean, but, I mean <gasps> if it's handled well, I mean, it, like, it could be a really fun game. And I think co-op is something which makes a lot of sense for Dragon's Dogma. What would bother you about free-to-play? The fact that it's free-to-play. <laughs> I mean, uh, there's not a lot of good free-to-play games out there. <laughs> they have... Are there are some business models. I mean, I think I think there are two potential worries about it it being free to play. First of all, as Ryman said, it could have a dreadfully bad business model, and you might feel forced to pay to do anything worthwhile. For instance, in Soul Calibur Lost Souls, if you want to play a certain <laughs> characters, you have to pay ninety dollars, which is absolute nonsense. That is not how you do good free to play. Ninety. Ninety. $90. If you want to play as Seong Mina or Cassandra, you have to play 90, uh, pay $90 each. It's stupid. Jesus Christ. It's really stupid. Huh. So, yeah. Uh, uh, um, and my second worry about it being free-to-play, there's a ton of free-to-play titles out there which follow the same pattern about it being very grindy. So... So, so if the main gameplay is to just like repeat content over and over again, like that will be less interesting. Hmm. So I don't well, have. Hmm? I I'd have more confidence in this being free to play. Like we, I, well, I played Terra play pretty obsessively for like two weeks, and that was free to play, and it was really grindy and weird, and it was an MMO, but it didn't have anywhere near the the kind of enjoyable content that. I mean, combat that uh, Dragon's Dogma has. Yeah. So if, if the combat is similar to the first Dragon's Dogma, then that'll be enough for me. Yeah. I mean, I think I think I think free to play doesn't necessarily mean something bad. Like it can't be handled very well. I think I think yeah, I think Black Desert is shaping up to look like a really good free to play title. And, and I, plus, we'll be able to play co-op. Yeah. And I guess there is one good thing. Uh, like uh, it has, it's apparently been confirmed that uh, Hiroyuki Kobayashi is the executive producer for this, and he worked on the original Dragon's Dogma. Isn't he tied with a ton of different Capcom projects? Or am I mixing up names? Like, like, isn't he also doing a bunch of Ari stuff? 
I'm not sure. It does say this. It does say that the director here is Kento Kinoshita, which I don't know who he is. And that also confirms mm -hmm. that um, that uh, Itsuno is not working on this project. So, so I think it's still unknown what he's working on. And he was the director of Dragon's Dogma 1, like the oh. first game, and, and, and not the reason. Okay. So mm -hmm. I don't have many more screenshots to show here, but I have prepared some more. So we can just imagine, like, how would this game look when it's released? Maybe it would look like this, huh? Mm, oh, wow, that's <laughs> really pretty. Oh, wow. I doubt it. Wow. Uh. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. So I, I do find it kind of funny that the reason I got interested in Black Desert to begin with is that it basically looked like an MMO version of Dragon's Dogma. So it's not kind of funny that they've, they've basically announced a Dragon's Dogma MMO. <laughs> And Black Desert looks really pretty. Just that. <laughs> yes, we know. So I guess I'll just go through even more uh, things they mentioned. Actually, I should get one really big, big, big thing out of the way. So Eurogamer contacted Capcom about this. And Capcom said, this is not planned for Western territories. Yes, that is what they said. What? Yeah. Well... To be specific, the article states that a Capcom UK representative told Eurogamer that there was no plans to release this game in the West. Precious. So I just want to say, <laughs> screw all of you guys. Screw all of you guys out there who did not buy Dragon's Dogma. Because, blah, because I mean, it, 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 <laughs> like it makes sense in one way. Because Dragon's Dogma sold really well in Japan. It sold horribly everywhere else. So if it is really going to be Japan only forever... I, I guess that's the reason, and that's really sad, because I want to play this game. I want more Dragon's Dogma. So, um, are you, you going to say something? No. Okay. I'm <laughs> so, just sad. So I guess I'll just go through other features with the game. So even though it is um, online and, and, and co-op enabled, you can still play with pawns if you want to. Like, you can just go out there with three pawns and just play by yourself and don't bother with other players. And uh, and they mentioned that they're planning for the world to be as big as Dragon's Dogma, and with patches they wanted to be at least as th like at least a third of the size of the world in Dragon's Dogma after some big patches. Mm. And this is like a general bunch of stuff mentioned like quick match making is available. Classes include fighter, hunter, priest, shield, sage. I guess I guess these are classes from the original Dragon's Dogma, just not properly translated to English. Yeah. Um, shield shades it sounds like magic knights they had big shields that were magical. Yeah, and it's mentioned that um character creation is now is now more extensive. You have more more items to use on a character and everything and big monsters can get can go into an angry state where they get even stronger attacks. That yeah, that sounds very monster hunter ish that does. <laughs> and uh, like the Um they have a whole they they have a whole crafting system where you can like have your pawn pawns craft stuff for you. Wait, didn't the like the feisty monsters didn't that happen in Dark Arisen also? Like with the ogre guy. Uh oh yeah, that kind of, I think it did happen with that specific monster at least. I'm not sure about the rest. Um and they mention uh, blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah, and you can apparently <laughs> hire NPC, NPC characters to be with you, and they're part of the White Winged Buddha Corps, which I'm gonna say is also something which is just badly translated in this article. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and they mentioned they mentioned that they did consider actually making this game have a monthly fee, but they decided that free to play was a better choice. Which, yes, that's correct. That's a better <laughs> choice. <laughs> And they said, like, even though paid items will be present, they they wanted to still feel like a proper Dragon's Dogma game. I guess they want to avoid the term pay to win. Bloody well hope so. Hmm. So I think one worry I have about this game is that it'll basically be... Um, I'm not sure what best to compare it with, but it, it, it'll basically be a game where you have your lobby, you set up a party, and then you repeat content. And then you repeat content over and over and over again just to like get better loot or higher or higher levels. Like if that is the core 
gameplay premise, I'll be disappointed. That'd be surprising to me, considering it's Dragon's Dogma. Yeah. Why would they? Why would they do that? Yeah, but 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 that is like such a typical setup for this kind of free-to-play game where you have like one lobby and then you like go out and do stuff. Like you have games like Vindictus, Destiny, Guild Wars. Many games use that setup. It works all. Do it. Can't go wrong. You technically kind of do it in Monster Hunter as well. Like if you want a specific set of armor or a weapon, you'd have to fight the monster over and over and carve enough parts from them until you could craft it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this could just be Capcom trying to put a bunch of Monster Hunter elements into Dragon's Dogma, which I guess also makes sense in a way because Monster Hunter is huge in Japan. So maybe they think Dragon's Dogma can be even more popular. If they add those mm. kinds of elements. Query Sausage is asking for a petition for Western Dragon's Dogma Online. Sectus, please, please make one. <laughs> I already had a petition for a PC version of Dragon's Dogma. I, I guess it paid off in a well. This is for PC, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, another small tidbit mentioned here is that Yoshinori Ono adds that development is benefiting from the cooperation of Sony. I don't know if that means they're funding part of the development or something probably does mm. but yeah this is for playstation platforms and pc no microsoft uh, platform take that or nintendo platform for that matter sony seems uh -huh. to be money hatting a lot of uh, capcom stuff i mean hell street fighter 5 that was a big one yeah green fandango that's a big one <laughs> that's not capcom though <laughs> resident evil 7 we don't know that yet. <laughs> we don't know that yet. So let's so, just all calm down. So assuming this will stay Japan only, will any of you bother to play the Japanese version of this? Hell no. <laughs> I wanna read I, I wanna be able to read it. That's a good point. I I as much as I love Black Desert, I've kinda gotten tired of playing a game where I don't understand what the hell's going on. I don't wanna do that anymore. <laughs> Yeah, it but, is it is possible though that Dragon's Dogma Online will just be much simpler. Um, because Black Desert has a ton of quests and that is like one of the areas where it's really difficult. It also has a ton of a ton of systems like crafting, hiring NPCs to do work for you and and, and etc. But well we'll see. I think I think if it's easy to get access to the Japanese version, I will I will definitely check it out. I don't know how much I would play it. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely try it, especially considering it's free-to-play. If I can get access to it, then I yeah. will, just to see how the combat feels. And also four with of us, the... Hmm? Four of us together casting high bow light. <sighs> yes, bow light all day long. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I want to play this. If They have to have that spell in the game. I'm just going to cast that all day long. It'll be fun. <laughs> I can cast it in the lobby. It'll be great. And turn <laughs> friendly fire on. <laughs> But yeah, I was going to mention that with this setup, I would kind of assume that when you go into the world, it is player hosted. So if, even if you play on Japanese servers, I would I would expect there to be virtually no lag. Yeah. But yeah, I, I Capcom should just announce this for other territories. Like it's it's PC. The well. Capcom, the Western PC crowd is nice. We will buy your game. I promise. I promise. Okay. Or in I this think... case, spend money on it. Yes, all the just... money. Everyone watching and everyone here who cares about Dragon's Dogma should try to contact them. Just tell them, we want this. We're, we're Western territory people, if you are in the West. Just tell them. Share it with us. Yeah. We would play it. Shout it. Shout it. Tell, tell them, them. I, will, I will pay for content if they give me nice mail. Uh... <laughs> Costume options. I'll be nicer than Akavete. I will pay regardless. Just give us the game. Give it. Come on. Come, come on. I, I guess. I guess. Is that, hmm? is that what I was going to be mad about? Is that what you were telling me? Yeah, that, 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 that is about? Japan only. There's well, another Monster Hunter element I would like to see in Dragon's Dogma Online. Let it's me press. So tasty. <laughs> okay, two elements. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think I heard what you actually said because I was very obsessed with Taster. Let me prance. Oh. Oh. Mm. There's, okay. a, there's a gesture system in Monster Hunter. It, 
it, it lets me prance. I like prancing. I think they should add uh, this picture and let me have really cool poses in Dragon's <laughs> Dogma. This is cool. Oh, she looks angry. Very angry over the being Japan only. Yeah, very angry. <laughs> I'll poke you. Give it. Yeah, I, I guess I guess there's no more to say. Kind of sad news. Kind of happy news. Like I am happy yeah. they're making Dragon's Dogma stuff. I just, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm mostly sad right now, but. Maybe there's hope. I I sh I I'm I'm gonna try to be op I'm gonna try to be optimistic. Like maybe I'll get the chance to play the game, and hopefully it's just a lot of fun, and that'd be great. So yeah, bye, bye, <laughs> bye, <laughs> bye.